This question is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your WordPress questions or tasks on demand. First, navigate to your WordPress website and make sure you're logged in. Then head over to Dashboard, and inside of Dashboard, scroll down till you reach Appearance. Then go to Theme Editor at the bottom. Inside of Theme Editor, on the right-hand side under Theme Files, Navigate to single page. Now that you are at the single page, also known as page.php, here is where I will give my demo of how action hooks work. So right here you see an action called do action. So over here, I will add a do action myself. So over here, the do action will be called catch fish update file. So now when I go over to my web page or WordPress page, you'll see on the right hand side where my mouse is, there's nothing because I have not yet created the action uh, of catch fish. So I'm going to create catch fish now. So navigating to functions.php, here's where I will add here is where I will hook a function onto the add action, uh, onto the catch fish. So add action So what I'm saying here is I want to hook the throw hook function onto catch fish. So, so let's create the function for throw hook. Throw hook. So it says hook thrown. So now I will update file. And when I head back to the page and reload, it'll now say hook thrown. Okay, so on this catch fish action, I can add yet another, I can hook yet another hook onto this action. So let's do that. So let's create another function called function throw net. And this time I will uh, echo out fish net scat scattered. So now I'll proceed to add that another action. So add action. So hooking on to catch fish, let's hook throw net. Throw the fish net. Okay, so update file. And now on the WordPress page, I will reload the page and it should say hook thrown fishnet scattered and that's because these two functions uh, the throw hook and throw net have both been hooked onto the catch fish action now let's say that you you don't want the hook to be the first choice you want to throw the net first and then throw the hook we can do that simply by saying this will happen first and this can happen second so let's Throw the net first before we throw the hook. So update file. File edited successfully. So back on the home page, if I give a reload, you'll see that the fish net scattered will now be first. See, when I reload, see now fish net scattered goes first and then hook is thrown. So, okay. So now let's say that you don't want you um, so this um, these numbers um, one and two these are called priorities and by changing them you can decide which one goes first. So if this is a so the numbers the lower numbers have the higher priority have so if this is five and this is ten the five will, should go first, right? 
So if this were like seven or something, and this were um, ninety nine, then this will go first because the lower number goes first. Okay. So now, now let's say that uh, you you no longer you no longer want to throw hook because maybe it's too costly, maybe it's a little annoying. Who knows? You only want to use the fishnet because maybe that's all you have or. For whatever reason, you only want to throw the net. So you can remove this throw hook from catch fish. And how you do that is you put remove action catch fish throw hook. And what this says is remove the throw throw hook hook from catch fish. So this this hook, um, I want you to unhook uh, this, uh, I want you to unhook the throw hook function from catch fish. That's essentially what you're saying. And by unhooking the throw hook function and updating the file, if you give this page a reload, you'll notice that the fish hook is no longer thrown. So now there's the only thing left is fish net scattered. So with the, with these, Hooks, you can add as many actions as you wish and remove as many actions as you wish. So that is how you use action hooks in WordPress.